Rachel Levis has been accused by fans of VANDARPUMP rules of using Tom Schwartz as a diversion from her relationship with Tom Sandoval. On Wednesday's show, the former pageant winner and native of Minnesota was seen making small talk during a celebration honoring Sheena Shea and Brock Davies. Watchers saw Lisa Vanderpump, the owner of SER, bring together most of the cast to celebrate the couple's upcoming wedding on the show. Tom Schwartz, 40, and Rockwell, 28, slipped away to a private area to talk and flirt as everyone else mixed together. Watching a heated game of ping pong, Katie Maloney's ex-husband recounted the match that eventually resulted in him getting Lisa's initials permanently inked on him. It looks amazing with LVP on it, he said in jest. I'm sure it does, Rachel retorted with slyness. I'll show you in Mexico, he replied, alluding to the impending journey south of the border for Sheena and Brock's wedding. And the flirting didn't end there. The cast was invited to an after-party at Tom Sandoval and Tom Schwartz's bar, Schwartz and Sandy's, by Sandoval, who it has subsequently been discovered was having an affair with Rockwell for several months. Rachel invited Tom Schwartz to show her the restaurant's art installation during the gathering. Introducing Raquel to the work, the newly divorced reality star likened it to a portal to another dimension. Then they went together to the men's restroom to have a look around, and Tom Schwartz offered to watch the door while Raquel went to the lavatory. The flirting was met with disinterest on Twitter, with others calling it all fake. Is this some kind of decoy scenario here, because it feels so forced, a spectator remarked. Yes, I'm getting angry about Rackle and Tom Schwartz's funny flirting, another person posted. I believe he was aware of her and Tom Sandoval's relationship. Other admirers saw that Rackle was sitting close to one Tom while she wasn't flirting with him. A keen observer commented, Without this scandal, Vipper should be cancelled. In fact, cancel the rest of this boring ass season and just give us the reunion. An additional fan of Vanderpump Rules proposed, it's quite easy to spot Tom and Raquel in the background because of his awful style. I assumed it would be more difficult to locate the Easter eggs. This wouldn't be the first time viewers have spotted hints regarding Raquel and Tom Sandoval's romance lurking in plain sight during Vanderpump Rules episodes. Even though the majority of the season was shot prior to the affair being public, there are a few indicators that viewers have seen. The troubled Bravo star interrupted a cast boys' night on last week's Vanderpump Rules episode following a botched girls' trip with Katie and Lala Kent. Breaking down the drama, Rickle was shown accusing her former girlfriends of being mean to her and setting her up, but they were also critical of her for appreciating her single status starting casual relationships and kissing men in public. Fans felt that Katie's ex-husband Tom Schwartz and the other male cast members' support for her was telling. Aware watchers also noticed Tom Sandoval rolling his eyes when Rackle expressed frustration at one point, saying, I was being young and fun and single, living my life, and these girls like literally set me up, making me seem like I'm only chasing after guys that they're interested in. A user on Twitter posted, Sandoval rolling his eyes at Lala's comment about not trusting Raquel around men. Be beloved. Raquel met up with her ex fiance James Kennedy later on in the show to discuss his sudden departure from the earlier trip. We'll be around each other in situations when Ali probably won't be there, the DJ said when his current girlfriend expressed discomfort about him being near Raquel. I mean, I don't know if she's going to the pool party at Tom Sandoval's later this week. Ruckel answered, well, you're invited. After James mentioned he hadn't heard about the celebration, I learned from Tom Sandoval. Following the comment, many fans on Twitter expressed shock and thought it was the biggest hint yet that the affair was happening. Um, Tom Sandoval told Ruckel that she could invite James to his and Ariana's pool party a fan commented, This raises a lot of red flags. Another person wrote on Twitter, Rackle inviting James Kennedy to Tom and Ariana's pool party on behalf of Tom was telling. 
A third person on Twitter stated, James was invited by Ray Kiel to Tom's pool party. The indicators, the warning signs, um Josh, that's all right. Additionally, isn't it A-R-I-A-N-A's pool party? Why does Rackel not mention her name? The disregard. Another person said, Sandoval told me, oh, okay. So Rackel says Tom Sandoval's party instead of Tom and Ariana's party, an additional tweet stated. Not Rackel saying pool party at Tom Sandoval's in lieu of A-R-I-A-N-A's was the sixth tweet. After the pool party started, Supporters believed the hints would keep coming in. While Ariana, who was not yet involved in the drama, and the other members of the cast watched, Rachel engaged in combat with Lala and Katie. But Tom Sandoval kept interjecting himself into the argument and staving up for Rachel. When he called out Lala for being a bully to Rachel, supporters noticed. At the time, the reality star remarked, Will you stop? I will never be able to forget the mindless bully you were to her, without cause. After seeing Tom's gas of Rekul, everything makes sense regarding what transpired. She's really, really desperate, a fan commented.